Well, <coughs> I've got a cold. I ain't got COVID, I've got a cold. But here we are, I'm at, uh, yeah, I'm on this bloody sandy stuff. So uh, yeah, that's not good, but it's a nice environment to be in. It's absolutely cracking. We've got some big waves. They're meant to be a meter, but they look a bit more than a meter to me. So uh, yeah, I'm at Sutton on Sea. And normally, I have fished this side, but normally I fish that side of the pipe. But today, I'm this side of the pipe. Because when I was last there, this side was deeper. But since I was last here, this beach is now level across there from what I can see. And uh, there's been a lot of sand dumped down there where it was eaten away before and was a lot lower by about two foot. In fact, apart from those concrete vents that you can see, the actual concrete um, pipe for the uh, fresh water drain is totally immersed in sand and used to be able to walk along that. So, there you go. I've come this side because the waves aren't breaking quite as much here. So I would say it might be deeper out there. So we're at Sutton on Sea. It's Friday, the 11th of February. Um, it's a four point summit meter tide and it's at half past two. Time now is one o'clock. So pretty much missed the boat, but the water's literally just touched the sand, so it should be a slowish tide. The moon's out. It's absolutely glorious here today, as you can see. Sutton on sea. So, uh, what am I going to catch today? Probably a whiting, probably a dab, hopefully. Um, I don't think there'll be a lot else. There was a codling caught down at Hutoff, but I think they're one in a million. I mean, they're hard enough to catch anyhow, but on this coast. But you never know, do you? You never know unless you're trying. So, you might get one, might not. I very much doubt it though. But today, it's all about for me casting. Um, I've been practicing the steps that I had to do in the video at Whitby and I've just started to be able to do it. So I haven't actually casted a rod doing that, but I have done it with a broom handle many, many hundreds of millions of times and now I feel as though it's coming. So it'll get better, I'll get there and then it'll be pendulum all the way. What else is there to say? I would say cue the music. That didn't go well. Went out there. I mean, the first three or four casts, I've just done some practice casts with a five ounce weight. Left the flip and clicker on, didn't I? I hadn't done that for yonks. As soon as you start doing stuff, which is extra to what you're used to, it's hard work. You forget stuff. You do it my age. So, yeah, that weren't good. The next cast, what you just saw, I didn't get that right at all. Not at all. This step, I can do the step now quite easily with a butt of a fishing rod, a stick, a bloody uh, brush handle, you name it. Do it really well. Doing it on the beach is another matter. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a couple more, if not three or four, and uh, we'll see, how it, see what happens. We'll see how it unfolds and uh, it's the way to go i've got to do it feels all right it's totally alien to what i was doing before you see you can't move your right foot if all your weight's on it so you have to be over your right side but not all your weight on it you've got to lift your foot up you know if you stood on one leg you can't move it can you apart from up so <coughs> i think what happened there is just lost a bit of contact with the weight 
Um, my weight wasn't parallel with the water, but then it wasn't on the inside either. So I ain't cast out far enough. The tide's moving the weight. We'll uh, get a flapper on this one, get it baited up. Let's get fishing. And then uh, this, what I've just casted out, hopefully will settle or do whatever it's going to do. But by God, it isn't half moving. But yeah, we'll see how it goes. Anyhow, it's another real buggered. That means I can't get any cogs for them anymore. So I've got a pen fab and we're no clicker. And if that clicker falls off, which I don't think it can, the bearing will fall out. How brilliant is that? Fancy making a reel that isn't strong enough for a numpty like me. But there you go, I'll be back in a bit. Well, that one went better, it went straight, but the problem is it didn't go out very far. Um, and it's moving again. I think, I think it's gonna be a struggle. I don't know. Yeah, it's off. It's weird, isn't it? You do it all the time in your shed in the garage, wherever, and it goes really well. And you come here and you're doing it as a fishing thing, properly fishing, it goes wrong. So I might have to just resort, resort back. It's so weird. I can feel it so well in the garage. And I can feel it across the chest where you're putting more power into it as well. I'm going to be reeling that egg in again in two minutes because it's just taking it down. I'm in the wrong place here. To be in the right place, I'd need to walk a lot further down there, which I just don't want to do. I'm tired, nagged. If I'd fished that side, I'd have been dragged over into this pipe anyhow. So it's just them steps getting them right, but he'll come. You'll just see me, I'm gonna cast. I'm not gonna go on about that anymore now. But it is, just wanna get it right, really, so that I can cast better. Oh, it's just bouncing along. When I reeled the last time one in as well, it had some weed on it. I can get out there. I know I can get out there. I've been on this beach and got out there. Don't believe it. I can't believe it. Never mind. This is literally, literally two minutes after I've cast it out. It's down there. It's like Trunch Lane all over again. If you don't know what Trunch Lane is, it's in my video collection on Vern Sea Fishing. Go check it out, Trunch Lane. was in two minutes.
Things ain't going right today for some reason. I don't know why. Even that cast, going back to my old cast, was wrong. And it's off again. This might be the shortest video ever. Perhaps it's the part of the tide. Perhaps it'll get better as it as it goes on. I don't know. Uh, it's off. It's literally gone. I've cast it in, and I'm kidding you not. I cast it in over there. It's over there already. God damn, there must be some draw on this bloody water today. That's an absolute joke. It'll be down. It'll be down in the bloody shoreline. This is just going to be a video of me casting, isn't it? Because I'm out for two minutes. I want a coffee. I want to stroke the phone up and see if I can do a live. You just ain't got time. The amount of stuff you have to do. It's bad enough at my age bringing all your gear out I just don't know how I'm gonna lighten my gear and it's not about 10 extra rigs I'm talking about batteries and stuff pain I had a crap drive air as well absolutely atrocious I was gonna tell you about me drive air because I know you'd be interested but I mean I'm now like Jesus Christ nothing's going right when I last fished Hornsey, which was a few, couple of weeks ago, everything was great on the beach. Casting, catching fish obviously, but casting wise it was brilliant. I hit it out a long way on two casts during the day when I saw it. And the spill was always going out to the same distance and it was brilliant. These steps, I can do them at home. It's about getting the muscle memory, isn't it? Because what happens is, and this is exactly what happened when I first started learning off the ground cars. You get it and you think, oh, brilliant, I can do it. Soon as you start putting the rod in the situation and that weight at the end, it feels totally different. And what's happened is my off the ground cast before the steps, I'd got muscle memory for that cast. Everything was, I put it down, boom put it down boom might not always go right always went out far and straight but now got these steps which I didn't do like in that last one I just wanted to get it out there and it didn't go wind is blowing this way so it's not behind me it is blowing from the side over my shoulder but what do you have to do Am I going to have to just do stupid chucks out there so that I avoid all this tide? Maybe I will have to. I'm not fishing, am I? It's just going down there all the time. There'll be weed around it, which is not a problem. But if I get six foot of weed, it goes like a rope. If I get six foot of that stuff, that'll be no good. I'll be going up. <laughs> On the upside, I finished work today at school and uh, I've got a week's holdy because uh, I've got me all my oldies mixed up and wrong so I've got to use them I thought I had another couple of weeks but I haven't so I've got this next week off so hopefully there'll be some nice weather but the, what, tomorrow and Sunday is crap weather I bet you the tide tomorrow and Sunday will be perfect won't it bet it'll be raining Right, I'm gonna have to reel this in, an absolute joke. It's over there, I'm pointing over there. You wait see where this rod is. That's where the bloody weight is. Less weed on that one. It's only been out for bloody, haven't even been out for two minutes. What makes me laugh is I phoned up Alan and said, I've done it, I've done it, I've sorted it. 
it works. It bloody don't. It's different when it's different when you're on the beach. I'm casting now as though I'm practice casting and uh, off it goes again it's I'm knackered you've seen all the casts up to now I don't know how many it's three or four but they're literally within two minutes and it's hard work reeling it back in because I'm reeling against that tide it's off it's gone it's gone already so I'm afraid to say I can't fish this. I don't want to fish this because it's doing my bloody head in. I'll tell you that now. For nothing. Absolute ridiculous. When God created this world, he came up with some crap, I'll tell you. Bloody tide run. And what do people say? Oh, you need tide. You need the tide to catch fish. Well, this is worse than the river. And that's barreling in, barreling in. Oh, look at it, it's just bang, 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 bang. I can't believe what I'm now gonna say, but I'm doing another head thump next because I am not holding bottom. Perhaps the tide will slow down a bit as it comes in. I came here in this section because there wasn't so many breakers and there still isn't, look. See that there? Got all these breakers this side where the surfers are and that's a bit annoying we're now getting people surfing on that's the first time i've seen surfers on this beach but never mind so here it's here for everybody to use so yeah look it's, it's look look at my line look at my line it's on the bloody beach the gear's on the bloody beach. It's been two minutes. I ain't even switched the camera off. Jesus, wet. I'm on, I'm, I, uh, I'm six yards off the sand. That's where my weight is. It's just like Trunch Lane all over again. I don't know what them two down there are looking at. Just because I'm shouting up there, it doesn't mean they can look at me, does it? Talking to you, aren't I? I ain't talking to myself.
I guess you didn't even see me then because I didn't turn the camera. You know, a bit too much to think about. Bloody weed on here. Right. I'm absolutely, absolutely bloody fed up. Fed up I am. Right. Right, I was going to do it and I've read something there, but I didn't. What I've done is, what I've done is, I can't see my bloody line, glasses are in. What I've done is, I did, I put that on the, on the ground, parallel to the water, and just hit it. Didn't pull punch, I ain't pulled punch at all today, I don't know why. I'll tell you something in a minute and all. I'll tell you something. It's bouncing around again. Right. And I just hit it out and I thought, Christ almighty, I'm going to hit that pipe. I might be on it, I don't know. I ain't on it because it's bouncing down the way. So anyhow, it's out there. And I managed to cast where I was wanting to cast as well to the left. So that's done. I ain't fussed. Come here primarily to fish. But I did come here all excited today because of what I've done at, at, at home, practicing. I thought would be a couple of casts, dodgy, and then it'd be okay. And it ain't been, has it? It's been a shocker. It's bouncing down. It's bouncing down again. I might have to put a seven or an eight ounce weight on. And then I'm not power casting that rod because that's only rated up to seven ounce. And I know I've done it all before, but I like them rods. I do not want them to come to any harm. Can't fish two rods today. That's a for a start. The reason why I like this a little bit is because I've been all excited about coming on the sand to progress with the casting. I feel as I've come on really well, leaps and bounds, but today, I'm just going to ride it off as a day gone wrong because because that's what it feels like it ain't gone right up to now first cast to the, sorry about that first cast to the clicker up off it's gone it's off going off down to i was going to say spurn point but it ain't it's off down to skeggy bounce 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 you know, I've been on this beach and I've cast it out and there's been no tide run. And I've fished in waves like this as well. I'm going to have to check what the swell is. I think it's 1.2 metres. There it go. Look at that. It's like I've got a bloody great smooth round on it. <coughs> All I want is a coffee. I ain't sat down. I ain't sat down. All I've been doing is casting out and reeling in. Casting out and reeling in. I ain't even, I ain't even relaxed. I ain't had a sandwich. We got two in the sandwiches as well, and I ain't even had a sandwich. Should I cast both rods out? Sat back, sandwich. Look at that bend. Jesus wept. Look at that. Can you see that? I'm down on the beach again. Right, I'm gonna, uh, what I'm gonna do? Right, uh, this is what I'm gonna do. Ah, oh, Jesus, wet. I'm gonna reel that in. And this time I'm gonna chuck it out 
20 yards. I ain't chucking out any further. I'm chucking out 20 yards with seven ounce weight on. Look at that. I've never seen that rod bend like that before. Right. I'm not reeling in again. You know what that looked like. Well, I might do. see it in the swell. I don't know. With the tide and this weed, this is the weed you get at sun. It's no different to anybody else's weed. You know, I ain't got it any harder than anyone else. But that'll gather up on your line, probably six foot, two meters, eight foot. comes off easy. You can't moon about it apart from the fact 
apart from the fact you can't hold bottle. And with that weed, which uh, isn't a great deal, I've seen it worse, but you ain't an old bottom with that, are you? These f***ing Gemini clubs. Sorry, Tom, I really am sorry. It's not that we're catering for kids, but it takes a bit to keep bleeping it, apparently. I'm doing some editing now, so um, I'll get to find out when I... But then I don't possess to be a, a uh, an educated person that is, uh, don't swear, you know. Not that they, they swear as well, don't they? So, I don't know where I am on cast at the minute. I've probably done, with a practice cast as well, I've probably done, what, I don't know, five, six. It's the same bait. It's exactly the same. It's been in the water probably 10 minutes, and that's it can't do nothing about it. I'm now doing a chuck out air and I'm doing it six to eight feet. I'm not even going to try and cast. I'm just going to hit it out air short and then I'm just going to put some flapper rigs on with a seven ounce. As a matter of fact, what I'll do is I'll change the weight. Right, I've got me seven ounce weight on now. I'm just doing a, a red thump. I'm going in that direction and that's it. I don't care. What a joke that was. Good to do another red chuck. It goes 10 bloody yards. And I uh, bird's nest it, but I've pulled it out. It's running. Well, I think I deserve a coffee. But I can tell you now, that's not old and bottom. I don't know what's the matter with the tide today, apart from these things happen. Let's fill my coffee over me now, wanna sort of numpty thing to do, innit? That's it, go up and down. You're only out 20 yards. To so say I'm a bit miffed and a bit annoyed is another, is another thing. I think if anybody come past me now and said something wrong, I think I'd chew their head off, whether they hit me or not. I'm going home tonight and I'm checking all the statistics for today. The swell, where the moon is. Well, the moon's up there. Yeah, it tastes salty. Got sand all over me. But on the upside, my socks are all right. And the daughter bought me some socks for Christmas. Well, it's gob everywhere. Now oh, it's bent over again, look. The daughter bought me some socks. And uh, yeah, my feet are roasty toasty. I can't believe that. That is absolute joke. I'm over there again. This is literally like, go back in my videos if you want to and check out Trunch Lane. I mean, Trunch Lane, Jesus Christ, that was a day. This is just like, it's probably about the same time as well. What's with February? Look at my rod. Is this tide going to come in here? Because it ain't even come in yet. I 
I can't believe it ain't come in at the bottom. Can you see the bottom? See where all this water is there? It keeps going out. It's as though the water's not going to come in any further. The time is two o'clock. You're not telling me that's it. I ain't even got time for a coffee, have I? I'm going to take you down there in a minute. I can't, well, look at my rod. My rod's bent over again. On the upside, it's a nice day. Sun's out. You can feel it on my face. A little bit of wind. Absolutely beautiful day. Come fault it. Come fault it. Old Neptune's got other plans, though, hasn't he? I reckon he's on my end of my rod now, yanking on it. Don't take my fish. Jesus, wet. Do you know what? I'll, well, I'm not even going to get involved with my casting. I might even pack up and go get my plain bomb and just do some casting. I think high water's about a past two. So that's it. I can't believe that. I'll tell you why. No, ah, 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 I told you earlier that the sand has covered that outfall pipe and you can't walk on it. It's a great big concrete structure and you can walk on it. It's gone. So that beach now has had that much sand dumped on it. That's why I'm looking at this and I haven't got, look, that's why the water's coming in and it's not coming up. I mean, I would have expected it to be up here up here somewhere down there like here like that but look well you might be able to see my line because of the weed that's hanging on it but if you can see us we've got a little bit of a puddle there but the sand is that high you can see where it's breaking on it. This is a great big sand spit. And it's the same all the way down. Now them waves shouldn't be breaking out there. Them waves should be breaking down here. But there's been that much sand dumped in this area. You cannot walk on this outfall pipe that's out here. So look, you can see the sand there, look. So this is a 4.9, 4 point, 4.2 or 4.9, whatever tide it is. Oh, it's made it onto the stones. And this is the beach. Should be coming up. And now I'm not saying it ain't gonna, but look at that, it's literally sand there. Do you know, I came here, I was gonna go to uh, Fray's Fork is where I was going to go and I've just said that now so unless I get to phrase for there'll be other people going there now won't they? but never mind who cares because it's Vernon it's going to go but yeah I was going to go there but the tide was at two o'clock the time I got there with my traveling I'd have probably had an hour before high which is pretty much the same as there now and this is unfishable it's unfishable through that tide pull and the weed that gets stuck on your line. So anyway, I was gonna to go to Fraysfort, but I didn't because it's quite a shallow beach. I thought, I'll go to Sutton. 4.9, it'll be coming up. I'll be fishing into three or four feet of water. But all that sand's been dumped there. I can't believe it. That outfall pipe, that used to be what? Well, that, Outfall that great big concrete bit there used to be about 1.6 1.7 meters off the beach when I was stood on it. Uh, it ain't now, so you've probably lost you've probably lost a meter. So there's been a meter, probably more sand been dumped, been dumped on that beach. And you might think, well, the water's just going to be on top of it. Well, yeah, you would think that, wouldn't you? 
but I kid you not, that's sand there. I'm looking at sand there and the tide's coming in. The time now is 10 past two. High tide, I think, is at 20 past two. And if it isn't 20 past two, it's 2.40. But it's certainly not at three o'clock. That water ain't coming up. There's a bit of sand still down there at the thing. All that is all flat sand as well. The other side of that pipe. So anyhow, well, this has been a bit of a moony rant, hasn't it? Hour and a half coming here. You wouldn't believe the idiots that are on the road. Well, no, you can't say that, can you? You can't say that. You can't say people are idiots. You can't be believe how hard it was driving there through the people and the traffic on the road. It was atrocious. I had everybody wanting to do a right turn with a stream of traffic coming the other way. It takes ages. I had three or four of them. I had lorries. I had tractors. I had tractors with bloody tank tracks on. I had tractors with bloody great wheels that you can see underneath the thing. There was every tractor and his dog out. On top of that, on top of that, I was thinking, oh, no, I'm going fishing, I'm not going to a place I love. And it's absolutely glorious, the sun's on my face. And I'm thinking, it's going to be brilliant. And you get the old woman, don't you, with the dogs in the back and she's driving at two mile an hour. Rightly so. Then I had a Frenchman, I had a Frenchman in a great big Range Rover, French plates on. Well, he overtook me at 90, I was doing 60. He went past me at 90. Straight road with a few kinks in it, but that didn't stop him riding on the right hand side of the road because there was no traffic. Until there was traffic and he then pulled over onto the left. I, he was either trying to straighten the road out, even though there weren't that much of a bend in the road, it was a kink on a straight road, or he just thought he was in France again. Well, he ought to bugger off to France, don't he? And f drive on the wrong side of the road, because it's dangerous. Doing like 90 mile an hour. I had all that, all these bloody people doing this, doing that, and I'm thinking, oh, now I'm going to stay calm, bubbling a bit. Look, my line's on the beach. Foist nearly went then. That's gone. It's gone. I'm on the beach. I can't fish. Can't fish. Gonna have to reel it in. You'll have to watch where I go. even a lot of seaweed. I've had that seaweed, as big as that, this white stuff. You always get this white stuff here. I've had it about 10 foot long, if not 12 foot long, of that, reeling in. And it's just like a bit of rope. It comes off easy, but when you've got 12 foot, you just cut your leader line and retie it. That is the same bait that I chucked out before. It ain't even altered in shape or form or stink. That woman there, she said, I thought you was reeling in and was going to catch me. I said, no, I'm just catching seaweed. If I can hold bottom. Seven ounce weight on. 
10 tonne of weed, I ain't gonna hold on. But that weed must pick up as the line is going down. So I think the tide is pulling the weight out. The weight's moving down and it's getting picked up with all this weed. <coughs> and then it's off. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, <laughs> we're not giving in. I'm either gonna take my gear back to the van and then come back here and cast. Or, or, okay now, I'm gonna wait until high tide and then have a chuck out. Do you know what? In my trunch lane video, the waves were going down the beach at an angle like that. Matter of fact, they were going down more than that at an angle. Couldn't hold on. What we need on this beach is a CCTV camera so we can have a direct feed onto seeing what this tide and the swell and the waves are doing. Because the left to right pull air is unbelievable. Well, this video is going to be a weird one, isn't it? Because all it's going to have is me moaning and grinning. The water ain't even coming in, look. The water, look at it, it's just... You must be able to pick that up there. It's about one inch deep in places and probably got a bit of a puddle there. Could actually go in there with butterfly net. I'm going to have a cup of coffee and a sandwich. That's what I'm going to do. And I'll see you in a minute. Sorry if I've upset anybody about French drivers or old ladies with the dogs or uh, I'll tell you the worst one was the married man with his wife in the car and his head was pointing at her more times than it was going down the road. He'd go around the corner at 20, hit 50 on a straight eventually and then slow down to 20 for the next bend. Don't matter what sort of bend it was, it could have been a slight kink in the road again. Old French boy, he'd have gone zooming past him and he'd have had a duck fit. For a minute I thought he was on the phone, but no, he was just talking to his missus that much that he wasn't, I was, it was a pain in the backside. Every straight I got to, there was cars coming the other way. Got past him eventually, calmed down from that, and then you got the next one. I think the next one was the tractor. Then there was another tractor. Then there was the bloody Frenchman. It was just on the go all the time. Got air, thought brilliant got parked lovely absolutely beautiful day it's absolutely stunning air look at this beach this is where you want to come to fish just make sure you come and fish air when the tide isn't on the run I'm gonna to have to go home and check if anybody watches this and has got this far because I'm moaning if anybody watches this and they've got any idea for saying how I know if it's gonna have a who's right to left to right pull it'd be grateful. You can see these waves, they aren't big waves. I've fished in bigger waves than this. Much bigger waves than this. <coughs> An L bottom, like at Whitby. But these waves, are, are they're angled at probably 30 degrees, some of them. Now they're coming in straight air. But look at that one there going. It's like at 30 degrees, if not a touch more. And that'll be the left to right toe, wouldn't it? So if anybody's got what I need to look out for for that, that would be something I could really learn from. Because I had that at Trunch Lane and it was a bloody nightmare. Absolute nightmare. But we had huge gales and winds as well on that day. But no, this, this, this is quite enjoyable for me, to be honest. Because now I'm just sat on the beach with my gear. I'm not fishing. No point chucking out because I can't hold bottom. Can't even get it out there because the casting's all gone. I guess I'm head, he, I'm head ducked, aren't I? That was a good word, ducked. We're gonna say ducked instead of fuck from now on. So I was a bit head ducked. And uh, because of that, things ain't going right. I mean, where that first breaker is out there, which starts past the outfall pipe, that's where I normally cast to, so I don't know. It's just one of them days. Anyhow, Burns' top tip of the day is 
What is it? I've just forgotten it. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's just gone round my head like it's like 200 mile now. Yeah, it's gone. It'll come back. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'm going to have a coffee. I'm going to have a tuna sandwich. I've been looking forward to them. So I'm having a tuna sandwich because I like my tuna sandwiches. Yeah, can't have much else. I can't believe it. I was looking forward to today. It's a great day on the beach. But think of this. I'm here, can't fish. Yeah, can't fish because it's just going, literally within two minutes, I'm down there on the beach. Yeah, on the beach. And the wife's got to walk home. She's got to walk home from school up that bloody hill. Bless her heart. And I'm here, can't fish, so she ain't even walking up the hill for the benefit of me, is she? I'll come back to you when I can remember my top tip of the day. But if, and if you can please, I don't know if you can have a look. I'm going to have a look anyhow. But if you've got any idea what I've got, well, you ain't got to look at on the day's weather, have you? You must know with the stuff that you get from the Met Office and other sites, what I need to look for for a strong left to right toe. Is it the moon phase, sun? What, what is it? I don't know. Thank you very much. Well, let's see if this is recording. It just sent me put my reel away. <coughs> I put my reel away because the tide is going out now. You can see down there, beach, beach, puddle, beach, beach, beach. That's it. So I'm going to fish one rod. I'm going to carry on fishing um, and just give it a little bit of a go because what else have I got to do? I'm gonna get a flapper rig out, give it a try and that's it. But I've packed the other rod away because I can't be asked with two rods. You can't fish it. I'm literally casting that, well, the last couple of casts, and I kid you not, the last cast was something like 30, 40, 50 yards out. It was further than I thought because by the time it got over there, it was bloody miles down there. So it was, I didn't think it was going that far, but by the time I was stood there and I saw it down there in the waves, it was a long way. So, where am I going there? I'll tell you where I'm going there. I put the second rod away, because one, I don't want to have the hassle of fishing two rods. I'll give it a go with one rod to see what happened before I make a final decision. But it all went wrong when I ate the tuna sandwich, didn't it? Here I've been, the world's been against me. I've had cars bugging me. No sightless, no horse, nothing like that, just cars, tractors. <coughs> I've had the world, <coughs> world against me. I managed to get here, didn't I? And it's glorious. I got a cold, I got man flu, which I didn't moan about, you hadn't heard me moan once about my flu, because it's not flu, it's a cold. I bite into my tuna sandwich and it's dry like cardboard. I know I'm on a diet. I know I'm on a diet and I've got to cut down this fatty, sweet, sugary stuff because it's bad for you. But my sandwiches are like cardboard. So I've just, it's, it's the end of the world, really. Uh. 
Mm -hmm. Time to get my Torino and eat a bit of malt loaf with some marge on it. So I've had sandwich which I've chucked about for the birds. Two bits of saurine. That's it. So I thought, well, it ain't gonna get any better, is it? It's all gone wrong. It wasn't a bad drive here, it's just annoying me you're always stopping and starting all the time and slowing down and speeding up and slowing down because someone's talking to his wife in the bloody car and not driving. Do you want to talk to your wife for in the first place? I don't know. Anyway, I get here and it's nice weather. And then obviously I first cast out, screw the clicker up on the reel because I'm thinking this, that and the other. Ain't done that for bloody yonks. Anyhow, I get casted out of a bait on and obviously you know it for now, I couldn't hold bottom. The pull is astronomical. But that don't matter, does it? That don't matter, because we're still here, it's still blue sky. It's gonna chuck it down tomorrow. Fresh air. Got little dicky birds about. Loads of little dicky birds. And then, yeah, it's unfishable. Totally unfishable. Can't even hold bottom of a seven ounce weight. But that don't matter. But then you bite into your sandwich and it's like cardboard. It's dry. We're gonna to have to reinvestigate into these tuna sandwiches because I need to have something in it that's not bad for you that actually makes it palatable. I can't eat eggs full of cholesterol. That's too high. So anyhow, I'm now gonna pack this rod down. So I've got one rod put away. I'm gonna put a four foot flapper on this rig and I'm gonna chuck it out short. That's the next thing you'll see. I've finished moaning now. That's it, over. I've done a battery. I've done a full battery on the GoPro, me casting out and reeling in and moaning and ranting. Probably best nobody else comes there and fish, actually. It's not fishable. I would say it's like this all the time. And then that way I'll always come here and I'll be able to fish one. Anyhow, I'm going to finish my coffee off because we've got people coming up. They obviously want to talk. What are you doing? What's that doing there? Right. <sighs> you all right? No, mate, no. Is there, any, is there ever any fish out there? There is, but the put, the tide is pulling that fast from left to right, oh, right that I'm casting out to that red thing. Yeah. And literally within two minutes, I'm four foot off the beach. All oh, right. It's good. literally just yanking me straight round. And once it pulls it out, the tide's pulling my weight out, and then it gathers all the weed up. And then you've got like a pound weight on there and it's just straight down and it's un unfishable. So I need to go home and check out the weather and see what I need to look at to work out when it's got such a huge pull on the tide, I would say. Yeah, 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 because it's a lovely day. Oh, it's a cracking day. I, f I film, the whole film up to now has just been me, me moaning and ranting. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a good way to enjoy a nice day. No. Well, I, I thrive on it. You see, I thrive on it. You obviously you fish often then. Yeah, yeah, I fish, fish as much as I can. Wife lets me go because she gets the remote. Then you see, and so uh, it's. <laughs> I fish as, I, well. The wife comes with me sometimes, but yeah, I fish as much as I can. But you get days like this. I fished Trunch Lane once, and it was exactly the same. And it was the same time of year. I don't, don't know. It's all to do with the moon and stuff, isn't it? It looks quite calm out there. Yeah, you? you'd think so. I've fished bigger waves than this at Whitby and held bottom with a six ounce weight, but this, this, yeah, it's just off to Skeggy with some chips. Yeah, that's right, with your fish. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, thanks a lot. Yeah, cheers.
I don't even know if there'd be any fish in there with this tide pool. Fish who seems to think there is. If you didn't got any tide you won't catch but I don't know. Well they were a nice couple. And uh surprising isn't it you have a you have a small little chat with someone and it totally calms you down it takes you out of that rut that you're in i think what i'm gonna do uh, you've had the long video you had the whitby video which was two and a half hours this is going to be a short one It'll certainly be comical, I think. Right, now then. For those that are interested, I'm not putting out the long liner. Because there's somebody who I know in Grimsby, my mate Taxi Dave, who's got an issue with me with my long liner, which is my four-rook flapper. I'm not using it today, but I am going to use a free up flap. I'm going to bait this up. You might as well watch me, aren't you? Watch Vern bait up. That's a bit of lug on. Now we'll put another bit on. I wouldn't mind so much, but it's took me longer to dry there than what I've actually fished. <laughs> Probably took me longer to get everything in the van and get myself dressed and breakfast after work than it did, than, than I have fished as well. Then we'll tip it off, a bit squared.
Right, the tide is going out. And I ain't chucking this far because I've done with that. I need to start fresh tomorrow and start again and do it from then. Come with me. I ain't gonna be here long today. Look at this. It's not even the sides of the waves, it's the left to right draw. little chuck out I think it's on the move as we speak it's on the move I've never known it like it eh? never ever known it yeah it's on the move can't believe it I mean that's quite worrying I don't know why I need to find out what it is I need to look for that's gone it's gone it's not even old and bottom it's total waste of time I reckon it'd be better for me to go to the van. Waste of time. Could do with the wife now because uh, I could leave the gear I need on the beach and return the other stuff and then walk back and do some casting. But I think what I'm going to do, I can't waste my time here. I've got to pack everything away, then get it back out of the van. Jesus, wet. Duck my reel up, ain't I? Beautiful day. You can't knock the day. Getting a bit of a long shadow now. Yeah, there we go. Bang, 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 bang. Pull, pull, pull. Bend it in half. It's off. It's not a very big tide. With this sand that's been dumped on this beach, it ain't very big at all. It's not even come up the beach, it's just come in. But normally, you'd have a foot of water there on a tide like this, if not two foot. But you haven't because of this sand. That's why them waves are breaking so far out. This, this beach has totally changed. Totally changed. Look at them waves down there. 45 degrees to the beach now. Look at him over there, right in the distance. Yeah. It's just like at Trunch Lane when I fished at Trunch Lane that time. It was unfishable and it's exactly the same today. Shame really because my mate Lee, he's at the River Umber today fishing and it's a big high tide, big low tide. So it's like a 2.1 meter tide, I think, at low water. So you can fish all day at the river and uh, in certain places and uh, he's there fishing with his dad so I hope he's having a better time than me only this is shocking it's too late for me to get to the umber now it's too far um, let's hope it's got some better tides <coughs> on this beach summertime because I normally fish through the night air yeah my weight is virtually on the uh, sand now it'll be getting washed up soon I would say yeah Look at that. 
from where I cast it out, and I didn't cast out far, I literally cast it out, what, 35, 40 yards? It's now 120 yards down the beach. if we can do this with me reeling in I cast it over there so you can see my line see my line there I cast it over that way it's down there so that's where my line is right out there and I cast it out over there so it's literally moved from there to there that's some pull I've never had that air before I'll look it up tonight in fact again I know I've repeated myself but that's that's why you watch me you don't miss out because if you've missed it the first time I'm gonna say it again <coughs> just to hack people off so that they can comment you don't have to repeat yourself but I do so yeah um, if you can let me know what that is I shall be googling it tonight this video won't be out for another three weeks from my video from Whitby so yeah it's just the way that is as well that's how me and Tom like it you know yeah, tell you what it's uh, gullied out as well you won't be able to see it but down there um, there is uh, a great big gully been gouged out of the beach there. Right. I tell you what, I'm bloody glad I didn't go to Easington because it's sod's law that Easington there'll be no weed. But if there's weed, it's going to be at Easington. And if there's weed there, you'd like to think there's some weed at Easington. And if there is, it'd be unfishable. This is unfishable. Look at this. This isn't a lot of weed for him. When the weed comes in here, you've, I've told you what it's like. But look, your weight get pulled out because of the strong flow of tide and then you got this weed then you got this weed
There is quite a bit of wind blowing as well. I think it was registering about 10 or 12 mile an hour. Um, oh, fuck bollocks, duck, duck it. Um, yeah, there's about 10 or 12 mile an hour wind, I think. I don't know what the gusts are, but the gusts are more. I can feel that gust and it's a lot more. And Alan said to me also that depending on which way the wind blowing, it's blowing now. It's now blowing down the beach, southerly wind. It's blowing on my back now. So the wind has turned, since I've been here, the wind has turned around. Um, so you're not going to cast out as far as you would normally. I don't know what the air pressure is. That all affects it. But there, I ain't worrying about my casting because it's just been talking ball, balls up, really. It's been hard work from start to finish. I was going to get casted out. I was going to start fishing, have a coffee, cardboard sandwich, and then I was going to go live on my phone. Not to ruin the video, just have a chat. Have a chat with my haters. <coughs> oh dear, don't make me laugh. Right. I think that's it. I think that's fishing done. I think what I'll do is I'll get packed away. I might show you. I'll tell you what, there's a few videos going around at the minute how to set up. I think I'll show you how to take it down and go on. Go up in disgust. That's what I reckon. I might come back on there with a rod and cast, but... It'd be nice to actually get a feeling of this cast with my feet moving. Um, I could bring a camera back and film it as well, I suppose. Might as well. I've done an hour's worth of... I've done one GoPro battery on bloody moaning and ranting. I think that's... And don't take that the wrong way. This is who I am. I'm happy. I'm always happy, even if I'm in the mood. Um, it's just the way it goes. See, I've lost track again now. I think I'm getting dementia. I don't think it's dementia. I just don't think I can remember anything. Oh, it's been an eventful day anyhow. That's all I'm going to say. It's a beautiful day, have I mentioned that? It is a lovely day. That's how you take your bait off and your rig. That's how you wash your weight in your bucket of water to put it in your basket. I can honestly say this will be the first video like this. I have done another one that we never uploaded. It's there ready to go, but I ain't uploaded. We ain't stuck it on because all I do is moan for 20 minutes. But 
yeah this is going to be the first unfishable blanket video now most people wouldn't put this up but as i like to say this is real fishing you know this is the nitty gritty of it all and uh, there's more nit and gritty than there is bloody fishing that's what i'll say then this goes in here in my rig wallet
Well, if I get back to the van and I decide to myself that I'm going to actually fish, uh, do some casting, I'll bring you back. But I've got to take everything back to the car to then walk back on, which isn't too much work. A lot easier walking back on without all your gear. And uh, I might do some casting. Um, but yeah, this has been fishing. <coughs> oh, is this recorded? Yeah, this has been fishing at uh, Sutton on Sea, and it's been enjoyable. It's been it, it, forget everything. You've probably watched this and you've turned it off. If you've got this far, thank you very much. But it has been enjoyable. It's a beautiful day. Anything's better than working, but. I did, I've uh, postponed the work for today, for tomorrow, so now I've got a work weekend. But I have got next week off, so it's all right. I'm quite happy. So, yeah, this has been fishing at Sutton-on-Sea. There's not been a lot of fishing. Well, I have done a lot of casting out. I've probably casted out nearly as much as in a proper session. But I've literally casted out, and two minutes later, I'll pull it back in. So this has been Sutton on Sea on the 11th of February. I'm sorry there was no fish. You know, it's just ferns fishing. I will upload this because I upload every video. Um, and every time I fish, I've got a video because I always film because that's the way it is. This is what I'm doing for me to look back at when I'm an old man in a nappy, slavering out of my mouth, incontinent in the nappy and watching this back thinking, who's that daft bugger on that beach? He ain't doing that right. So yeah, think everything's gone wrong. Even the stuff that went wrong at the beginning to get here in the journey, that was forgotten about until it all went wrong here, which then highlighted that and it started me off. So yeah, you now know what's happened to me from the moment I left my house. You've seen it all and I've told you. So uh, yeah, thanks for joining me on my day at Sutton-on-Sea. If you see me again, I will be casting, um, doing some practice. I don't know how it's gonna go. I probably shouldn't because if it's all gone wrong up to now, I should probably just cut my losses. But if you see me, I'll be casting. But that's it, me done here at Sutton-on-Sea for now. So, uh, Thanks for joining. Please like and subscribe. Drop us a comment. Give us a thumbs up. And uh, next time you see me, I'll be fishing. And that'll be next week, I would say. I don't know where. Could be the river. Depends on the tides. If I can sneak one in at the river and go somewhere, I'll probably have the wife with me. Um, I don't know where I'm going. And that's the excitement. And the... In, in the... Uh, yeah and uh, not knowing where you're going. Let's just leave it at that. So we'll see you again. Thanks for watching. But in a blink of an eye, I might be back. We'll wait and see. See you later. See his car here? Eh? See that car there just gone past? Well, he, this is how ridiculous it is. How, how bloody driving standards now. And I ain't the best driver. Driving standards are diabolical sometimes. There's no police about anymore. I used to get stopped all the time. You know, <coughs> show your papers and all that stuff. But now, he parked on the other side of the road. It's a little tiny sea road. It's narrow. There must have been about six cars that had to stop to go round him. Because cars were coming the opposite way. I mean, if that was in London, he'd have got a ticket. But he ain't in London, so he can do it. But what I'm saying is, all the other cars that had to slow down and stop and pull out when they could because another car was coming past. Unbelievable. If he'd gone, and before you shoot me down, if he'd gone 30 yards further along the road, there's a lay-by. But no, he pulled over on the road. They even pull onto the verge. 
in his great big car. Anyhow, go back to the van, van you're all calm, and then you see an idiot like that. Dri people's driving standards. He's not an idiot. It's wrong for me to say that. Yeah, so I'll correct myself. He's probably a very intellectual person, but just no common sense. Right, so now Shane's just asked me how's it gone. So I've told him. I text back shit. And I can say shit because I'm afraid to say this is an adult channel. Not that sort of adult. But it's a channel, no kids. And you're at least allowed to say that word for God's sake. Anyhow, I'm coming back on there. Next time you see me, I'll be casting out there. I hope so.
with the uh, movement of the feet, even though I can do it in the garage and that, um, it's hard work here with the rod. Before anyone says it, I know I'm not punch pulling with the finish of the cast because everything at the bottom ain't right. Don't feel right, it's muscle memory, I think. Um, still going out of a fair way. Certainly going out. With this plain bomb on, it's going out as far as what my caster was before me. Well, it's going out further now because there's no rig on it. But I went far off. But I'll just reel this in, I'll stop this, reel this in, and uh, I'll do a couple more. I've literally casted that out and reeled in straight away and there's loads of weed on it. It's unbelievable. I've just casted that out. I hadn't even been in the water for a length of time. That was literally casted out and I re started reeling it in. I was going to come up and turn the camera off, but I thought, no, let's get it reeled in because of the weed. And it was like pulling in a breeze block. Couldn't believe how much weed is on that in two seconds. So you've got no chance of fishing this beach when it's like that. With the tide and that weed, it was un unfishable.
Right, I'm going to try and punch pull this one. I'm still going to do the footwork as well. Me at turn, and to be honest, reeling all that weed in is uh, a killer. So, let's put you here at an angle. Hang on. Right, so yeah, it's been a nice day. I think one more cast will do me. It ain't going too bad. At least I can still cast, even if it ain't right. So if I, that's about right there, isn't it? Yeah. So that's got all that in there. It on. Someone's lost a baiting needle.
Well, I think the wind, wind is blowing this way. So I think as soon as the weight gets up there and the wind hits it, the wind is quite strong. It is coming this way though. So it is a bit behind, but it is blowing up to the side of it. Uh, not going as far as Not going as far as when I'm with the wife. I can't see that gold band, so. It could be the wind, like Alan said, it can be pressure, low and high pressure. I don't know what it is. Sun's now going over the horizon, and I think it's time for me to go. I'm leaving this out here, this is gonna get covered in wind. But, what's good is, it's only going a bit further than what it was when I was casting. Um, you've seen me try the steps hopefully Alan will be able to see them but they ain't going to be for three weeks but never mind that's the way it is you can see me doing the steps I might be moving the right foot it's only a small movement with the right foot and then turn to the left Oh! Oh!